what is LAMPEX? We like to think of it as a new category called Desktop Augmented Reality. It looks like a lamp. Inside it has a camera, a computer and projector. And it transforms the surface into an interactive system. So think of it as a new category of computing devices. Not only is it projecting on my table, but I can interact with that. Okay, that's cool. Wait a second, I can put something there and scan it real time? It was like, okay, what can't we do with this lamp? In the last 20 years, not much has changed in desktop computing, which is why it's so exciting for us at Lampix to offer something that doesn't confine itself into a screen. It's a totally new paradigm. It's a totally new concept. Even the design of the computer itself, it's playing a vanishing act. Computing devices have started with a lot of limitations based on technology. But actually, we don't want a keyboard uh, or we don't want a mouse. We actually would really like a more natural interface to, to uh, computers. The projection of the Lampix device can disappear and appear at any time you want it. So that enables the kind of technology to vanish into the background. What makes the Lampix device unique is that we provide the developers with uh, access to the API. This is going to allow developers everywhere, anywhere in the world, to start producing apps on Lampix. You're going to get a hardware device, you're going to get the API, you'll get all of the materials to help you create whatever you want in your wildest imagination. We have students developing for the Lampix uh, in a day or two. That opens up the playbook. That opens up the opportunity. My favorite application of the Lampix is seeing how it can recognize real objects based on their shapes, sizes, and colors. We're also going to give you rich tools to feed objects so that your application can recognize the world around Lampix. That opens up a whole lot of creativity, opens up a whole lot of opportunity on both the app creator side and the image mining side. I do think that there is such potential for Lampix to create any kind of experience and there's some that you know you can't think of now that you're going to be able to think of you know months from now somebody's going to come up with something. Our vision for Lampix is for Lampix to be a software platform which makes it very easy for people to create desktop augmented reality software and experiences. The way they're doing it is really smart. They're allowing creators to create for it. Here's a tool, it projects, it scans, you can touch it, you can do all these things. What a designer, a graphic designer does versus a video editor versus you know uh, somebody at home, everybody's gonna have a different use case for this. And that's what's exciting is they've opened it up to allow creators to just create anything. We need the community uh, to help us develop the applications because there are just so much potential and we can't possibly think of all of them ourselves. School will be a great example. You can use it remotely so you can have two people in different locations using it, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, it's just the applications that it could be used for are so large. There are certainly kind of office and desktop kind of opportunities for it, but I think there's also great opportunities in retail. What Lampex does though is really create a, an experience at point of purchase that really helps me potentially understand the product better, uh, get information that I couldn't get otherwise. And that's what I'm saying. If I have to take my phone out to get information while I'm in a store, I can do that online. We actually got to the Pix ecosystem while we were training Lampix to recognize certain things. And then we realized uh, actually it would be a very intuitive and natural thing to crowdsource those, those images. The way the Pix ecosystem works, you need data and then you need labeling for that data. So the Pix ecosystem supports both of these steps in creating uh, data for machine learning. That's basically the utility of our, of our token. The token is there to facilitate tra trading data between uh, the, the participants in the Pix ecosystem. I think it's important for developers to support the, the Kickstarter release because it allows individuals who work from home come up with new creative ideas come up with new applications. It engages the community and, and rewards them for participation, which actually helps create that network effect. The blockchain part of it is uh, a way to crowdsource image data for, for training computer vision systems. What I think is unique about what Lampix has to offer is that individuals or organizations can acquire this equipment and participate in, in this ecosystem and earn PIC tokens and be rewarded for their work. It's very exciting. 
I'm really excited for the Olympics Development Edition. We actually, we've been begging them, like, can we get one? Please start coding on this. We're very excited to be developing something for Olympics and also exploring some of the, the fun side. You can put a lot of your own imagination into it. I'm really excited about how far Olympics has come in the last two years. And I'm even more excited for the next step, which is getting it in the hands of developers. For Olympics to be able to deliver on its promises of having augmented reality in all spaces, we need your help. We need developers to create more apps and we imagine that this will enable Lampix to be present in every home, every office, every factory and every shop. By backing the Kickstarter, supporters of a certain level will be rewarded with the Lampix development kit. Make a pledge and help us change desktop computing forever.